Hi, I'm Phil Christie, uh, cotton grower from Moree. Um, I've been involved in the ski park since it started back in 2006 when it all started. Uh, it's been a long process to, to get it to where it's at. Uh, the Moree Water Ski Club, in partnership with the Moree Plains Shire Council, have been developing this park for the community and we're really excited about what we've been able to achieve in, in a relatively short period of time. We're already starting to see the benefits that the park is bringing to the community. Our summers are filled with boats and kids and barbecues, but we've still got to build a playground, we've still got to build more shelters, we've got to build a clubhouse. There's all sorts of things that we can do. There's nothing that this site can't be and can't bring to the community. The Mori Water Park is actually an environmental solution to an environmental problem. And that's one of the most exciting things about this project, is our water is guaranteed. It comes from the pools, so we can, we can commit to uh, long-term plans knowing that we're going to have water. So even in a drought, we can still have enough water to plan for tournaments. Look, it's, it's one of the best now, one of the best facilities in Australia and in another 10 years, once all the trees get up and we get a few more facilities, it'll be the, the best facility in Australia. Like, you, know, you could hold world, world tournaments here. It really is exceptional. There's nowhere else in the country that, that has got the setup like we've got that's guaranteed with water. Uh, we've successfully hosted uh, the Australian National uh, Championships uh, and uh, state finals and rounds of state finals from Queensland and New South Wales. So we know the site is good. So the Moree Water Ski Club, again in partnership with Council, have developed a long-term plan for this park. So we see when it's finished that it has the potential of attracting up to 20,000 visitations a year, which will have a significant positive impact onto our, onto our community. Yeah, look, we are really grateful for the funding from Bayer and the FRRR fund, it's enabled us to build another shelter. And the shelters are so important for us here with the summer. Shade and trees are the most important asset that we need to get going on this site. It's very cold today, but in summer here in Moree, it gets very hot and exposed out here. And uh, building shelters has been a wonderful thing. And we applied through Bayer to get some funding to build another shelter, uh, which they kindly have donated. It gets very hot and exposed out here and have all the kids under it when they're not skiing and playing in the water is a, a wonderful thing for the town. I'd really like to thank Bayer and FRRR for, um, for supporting us in, in giving us the funding to build the shelter out here. It's really good to be supported um, by the cotton industry in Moree, which is so, such a big part of our community. Every little bit of funding that we get for, from a grant builds towards our total vision. 